Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate tradigital artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Woo! Hey, Xavier, how are you? I'm great, Jeff. How are you? I am freaking awesome. What a, what a, what a great last couple weeks. It seriously has been a great Independence Day weekend. Oh, yes, phenomenal. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday. And uh, it, it really, really has been pretty exciting around here. Uh, I've been working on, for a good amount of time, probably since last November, December, the computer art market. And I've been linking my Computer Art Man website up to, I'm using the Computer Art Market to sell my paintings. So, I, although it's been, the Computer Art Market has been live and up, but I've been tweaking it. I really have not been pushing the Computer Art Market because I didn't feel comfortable with exactly how everything was set up. But this i just finished uh jungle fever yes yeah, beautiful beautiful painting a commission that i i've done and that is finished that is going to be um up on the site real soon actually uh when uh, we were making this i was just loading it and i've i've really kind of figured it out so i want everybody to i will put a link computer art market i want to put that up there this is another step in the direction that I'm taking as far as uh, becoming a fine artist, selling online, and working into uh, work, getting my stuff into galleries and how I go about that. And then also the Art Strong show, which was just just passed, which was fairly successful. I'm going to at Computer Art Market be selling metal prints. Those right now I have set up so that if you contact me, all my contact information is there. You can order any one of my paintings in a metal print form, 8x10, 11x14, uh, 16x24, I believe is the largest size. But I also have all my signed canvas prints, limited editions, all my canvas prints, limited editions, and then all my original artwork. It's all there. Now the computer art market, I want to be able to set up that down the line once I get this, uh, the shipping, everything fine tuned because it's all set up, but you really want to fine tune it and then I'm going to basically go and, and, and get a select few artists and start selling uh, more artwork on the site. So I'm really super excited about that. Then I'm super excited, uh, opinion, the magazine LLTAM Inc. Uh, and that's been out there and I've, I've got four pieces that I'm going to start to promote uh, someplace else, which is uh, a painting that was introduced at Art Strong and then also uh, in the magazine. And then I got my self-portrait, Days Gone By, uh, Misty Day at the Falls, and now Jungle Fever. Four paintings that I will be over the next probably two and a half to three weeks just pumping out there for everybody to see. I'll be putting it on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything. So that's that's uh, Dexter back there. And then uh, I'm also going to be starting to do submissions to submit my work for gallery representation. So as I go about that, that's what we're gonna, what, 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 what I'm gonna be doing in the future, going over that. Sounds like a busy, ambitious schedule. Oh yeah, definitely. And then next week, this week I'm gonna um, do an interview with David Sands, Sandum, and he is an artist uh, that we talked about a little bit uh, from Twitter that has been doing amazing things. He has, uh, you know, early on, I met him early, early on in my, uh, when I started my fine art uh, push onto social media. And he's just been a fabulous person. He has promoted and set up and run Twitter art shows. And it's just, he's just an amazing individual. I'm going to be Skyping with him this week as far as an interview. If I can record it, I'll have parts of that interview. If not, 
I will basically meet Xavier and myself will go over it and we'll cover that interview in depth next time we do this so I'm really kind of excited about that I want to tell David's story because it's it's just an amazing story and it's still not it's still unwritten but you know just what I what he's been doing lately and what's been happening I'm so excited for him. his story thus far yes exactly I'm looking forward to that <laughs> so it's been it's been a wild couple of weeks we've here we are again uh, saying hi checking in with everybody uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming up and we're pretty excited about that very excited about it not the least of which in a few weeks I've taken the plunge I'm gonna have laser eye surgery done so goodbye glasses for distance vision yeah so that'll be a big change for me. I've worn glasses since I was two years old. We should expect better camera work, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so, uh, that's funny. Yep. So that's that's where we're at, folks. Uh, that's another one. I guess that's a wrap, right? That's a wrap, folks. Have a good week. We'll see you next time.